uh, pretty awesome. That's 20 items that would still be in my inventory when I got home. So. All right, I'm going on a two week vacation and when you close your eBay store, it gives you two options. You can either just close the store altogether so nobody can purchase, or you have a banner that shows that you are away, um, that orders will be delayed, shipping will be delayed, and when you return. I've always used that, but it's always been for two or three days. Um, so decided to try it for two weeks. Uh, real question here is how much of the vacation can I pay for with stuff that um, sells during the trip? That otherwise would have been shut down and in theory delayed when they when they sell so um, I'll check back and we'll see what the totals look like in two weeks all right I'm back from two weeks off I had eBay on away mode but allowed allowed sales uh, Amazon if you're familiar with that if you're FBM fulfilled by merchant um, turning it off is just turning it off you can't take any orders um, anything FBA naturally it's in an Amazon warehouse so obviously that can sell um, so two of these are books from FBM that came just in the last day um, I came back on a Sunday and turned it on um, so this is a I don't know, biblical book got seven dollars for that another art book uh, 450 and then going into the eBay stuff I'm going to total all this up at the end because I want to kind of see how much of my vacation or how much of my trip I actually got paid for by this. I had one return, which I'll add at the end as well. Um, even though it wasn't a sale from this time period, the return happened during the trip, so I'm going to subtract that from the, the income effect, effectively. Uh, Versace sneakers. Uh, these are Versace collection. You can see the tag on the bottom. They were $180 at, I believe, Nordstrom Rack. Um, they're in decent shape, um, definitely not new, but very, very close. Uh, $70 plus shipping. That's the second time those sold, first buyer didn't pay. Uh, next up is a golf club. This is Nicholas. Um, it's got like that golden bear on it. $17.50 plus shipping. Shipping is tough on that, um, on clubs, because if they're further away, it's a lot more expensive. Um, this is the biggest sale in a while. Um, I didn't think these would sell as quick as they did. These are 2011 foam posits. These are the Tim Duncans. Um, they're in excellent condition. Um, once they cleaned up a bit, I listed these at $350 um, just to field offers because they're the only size 10 and a half up. And some of the comps sold as high as 250 I think, um, but it looked more reasonable that I'd be holding them for a while. Somebody sent an offer and we settled on 275 um, plus shipping. So that, um, I don't know what the price point is, but a certain dollar amount has to go to eBay for verification. Um, so those will get authenticated by eBay and then sent to the customer, um, which gives a little peace of mind to, to all parties. So big fan of that. Next up, $15 purchase. These are Richard's Scary Busy Town, like kids blocks. Uh, 24 pieces at $15 plus shipping probably paid two dollars for that at the thrift store um, This one came out of a locker just a miscellaneous or maybe it came out of um, a state sale. I don't know It's a General Electric tape tape cassette tape splicer. It's new and packaged So I just threw a random dollar again. Not many comps on these um, $31 was what the offer came for plus shipping. So that's a huge sale in my book um, another one where there's almost no comps, so I just made up a price and sat it out. So this is a Barbie duffel bag. You can see it's pretty big. It says Hyperfusion. I think it's from like 2000, so it's called it vintage if you want, but I don't really call 2000 vintage, I don't think. Um, so I use keywords like travel bag, overnight bag, duffel bag. Uh, $35 plus shipping, so I got an offer. I accepted that right away. Um, and they're on the West Coast. They're paying quite a bit for shipping on that. Um, so that was an easy decision. Except another Obama hat going out. I sell lately about one a week. Uh, that's $12 free shipping. One of the only items I get free shipping. I also give um, discounts for multiple quantities because I have so many. Next up is a parted out item. Um, this got this from actually from Jake from... AZ flips when we were at the reseller rally in Cincinnati. He picked it up at a garage sale more just for the flex of picking up the odd 
Abrocket, Abro, or whatever, for like two bucks or something. Um, second piece that sold parted out, and these are the um, tension springs. So twenty-five dollars plus shipping on these. I'll be sending a, sending a gift or sending some cash his way. Um, he was flying and I was driving, so the car definitely had space to fit it. Um, this was a mistaken purchase at a thrift store, but still come up with a couple dollars profit. Um, photo printing paper. It's new in package. I know these things aren't cheap and new. Um, sold for seven dollars plus shipping, so not a whole lot of profit going on there. Um, five dollars plus shipping. Your book. Um, I had like thirty of these. Um, or this is Winnie the Pooh. Sorry, it was Eeyore. Um, I lotted all the ones that weren't worth selling individually. I think two or three of them were worth selling individually, five dollars or more. This is the last one, so I made a pretty good profit on that, and that was a bulk thrift store purchase. Um, glad that worked out. Next up, I've sold a few of these so far. These are Twilight Zone postcards. Um, listed them all individually for ten dollars, free shipping. This one sold nine dollars on an offer I sent out um, with Jackie Cooper. Caesar and me was the episode. So, um, still have a few of those. I got them all with some Star Trek stuff for a buck at a state sale. So, definitely way ahead on my money there. Uh, sealed LP. This is Chet Baker and Christopher Mason, Silent Nights. Uh, I realized that I did not put sealed in the title. I definitely listed it as new, but um, it may have sold a little faster if I put sealed in there. And that sold global shipping, it's telling me, so I'll have to see where that's going. Next up, two head racquetball rackets, uh, $30 plus shipping. That's another thrift store pickup for maybe two or four bucks into that. Um, another parted out, so I had bought a binder of these 1994 World Cup cards. Sold a few sets already. This is the uh, Mexico team set, $7 plus shipping for those. Um, well in the clear um, for profit on that not now um, not a whole lot of wild popular cards but selling them by team kind of works I guess uh, graphite worth softball bat 34 inch 30 ounce I uh, got this at another garage sale I bought three or four bats and a glove I think I was in for 10 or 20 bucks for all of them I sold for $75 plus shipping another West Coast purchase so they paid 20 bucks to ship that um, another book going out, all the older ones I put on eBay instead of Amazon. Uh, this is a naturalist in Cannibal Land, $40 plus shipping. Again, not all old books are created equal. Uh, a lot of them don't carry a whole lot of value. And wrapping up here, final two. So this is a mini Mouse little wooden doll. Um, it's retro, but retro collection as in they re-released old looking stuff so i don't know what year it's from it's chilling um the fact that it had vpc isn't that old um, but it's new in box um so i listed it as i think new other or used with like new in the description or something like that um well i kind of put it in the description because ebay flags you if you use used and like new uh 40 plus shipping on that that's another estate sale pickup and maybe two bucks into it, a dollar into it. And last but not least, um, more plastic bill. These are log cabins, uh, two of them. And I got $10 plus shipping on those. So all in all, that's 20 items going out. Uh, pretty awesome. That's 20 items that would still be in my inventory when I got home. So we'll see what the total is. I'll lay it up all here, or do a second video and add it here real quick. Um, but pretty good chunk of my vacation paid for just by keeping ebay on and doing a little bit higher volume shipping on this monday than i normally would peace